Around a golf at your local course should be a pleasant and overall fun experience for you and your group. Having said that, it's very important to keep in mind that while your round should be enjoyable, it's not an excuse to do whatever you want while on the course. Not knowing some of the proper etiquette can dramatically slow down your pace of play, which affects not only your group, but the groups everywhere else on the course. Luckily, there are a few common sense things you can do to ensure your round goes both smoothly and at a proper pace. When teeing off, it's very important to be aware of the amount of time you are spending at the tee box. Excessive practice swings should be avoided. Once you've gone through your pre-shot routine, you should take one practice swing and then hit your tee shot. Woo! Woo wow! Whoa! Baby! <laughs> Once you're in the fairway, there might be a desire to wait until the player furthest out has hit before you've begun your pre-shot routine. That uses unnecessary amount of time. While the furthest golfer is getting ready to hit, get ready yourself so you can hit immediately following the furthest golfer. If you ended up drawing the short straw and are keeping score for this round, you might be tempted to get everyone's score while still on the putting green. It is better to wait to take scores until your group has left the putting circle and has made their way to the next tee box. When driving up to the tee, try your best not to leave the cart below the hole. This forces you to walk back down and away from the next tee box after putting out. Rather than parking below the hole, drive up as far as you can staying on the cart path. This will cut down the extra time you might have to spend walking back and forth over long distances. Similarly, if you are walking, don't leave your bags in an area around the green that will force you to spend more time walking around instructions. Leave your bags near the back of the green if you can. This will save you time on the back end and will allow you to quickly exit the putting surface and head towards the next tee. When making the turn between nines, it's perfectly acceptable to stop for a few minutes. Okay, let's meet back here no more than five minutes. And while it's completely possible to find yourself losing track of time while inside the clubhouse, it is important that you spend no more than five minutes. Otherwise, groups behind you will end up having to wait for you, causing a backup. What the heck were you doing in there? A cookie? Let's go. Come on.
If riding on a cart, don't wait for your partner to hit their shot, only then driving out to your ball. Drop your partner off at his ball, then drive over to yours. If timed properly, you can both hit within moments of each other, saving a good deal of time in the process. If you see a cart with a flag or other distinctive markings heading towards you, it's most likely the course ranger. Frightening though he may be, it's always best to listen to what he has to say. A ranger will never stop you without a good reason, and there is no need to feel upset or angry if he has done so. Do your best to follow his directions. I've just been watching you, and you've been going at a slow pace here. Have you been paying attention to the pace clocks? Pace clocks? Huh. Yes, we have the pace clocks and they're all set so that when you go by them, that should be the, your tea time. And by that you can tell whether you're ahead or behind. And if you're behind, you've got to speed it up okay. so you're not holding everybody else up on the course. We'll, we'll do, do our, our very first. best to pick up the pace. Okay guys, let's make up some time. Wow, Jerry, that might have uh, gone in the rhubarb. Are you going to uh, play a provisional there? No, I can find it. If you find yourself in the unfortunate position of having sent the ball into the woods, it's always a good idea to play a provisional ball. Then you can spend up to five minutes looking for your original tee shot. Take care not to spend an inordinate amount of time searching. You never know what you may find out there. If you haven't found your tee shot after five minutes, Play your provisional shot from that point forward. If, however, you've never played a provisional shot in the first place, back to the tee you must go, wasting an incredible amount of time in the process. All of these things can add up, and all of them can make your round more enjoyable. Not only for you, but for everyone else too. Just one person can make an impact on the entire golf course. And by practicing pace aware golf, you can help make sure that that person isn't you. Thank you for watching and see you on the green.